morning, everyone. Everyone knows the famous uh, tagline from Nike, just do it. Uh, in this week's parsha, Shemini, it was time for Moshe, for Aaron HaKohen, Aaron the high priest, to begin his duty as the high priest to serve in the holy temple. By Yom HaShemini, the eighth day after the seven days of inauguration. And the verse says that Moshe says to Aaron, come, approach the altar and perform your services of bringing the various sacrifices. So Rashi asks, why does Moshe, have to beinu, Moshe Rabbeinu have to encourage Aaron to say, come, wasn't Aaron excited to go perform the service after all? This was the big day of his life. He's going to begin his role as the high priest. So Rashi says that Mo, Aaron felt insecure. Why? Because he knew that he was somewhat complicit in the sin of the golden calf. And he was a little embarrassed. He said, how can I go serve as the high priest? Maybe I'm not worthy. So his brother Moshe said, come, do it, you're okay. The question is, if Aaron felt insecure, unworthy to serve, why doesn't Moshe Rabbeinu address his fears, his insecurities, his, self in it, uh, his feeling of inadequacy? He doesn't talk about Aaron's insecurities. He just says, come and do it. And the answer perhaps is, that sometimes the best way to overcome your fears and insecurities is not to sit and talk about it and think about it and analyze it and discuss it. Just start doing whatever you have to do and then the fears will dissipate by itself. Because if you talk about your fears, sometimes you just exasperate them. But if you just start doing the positive thing, it automatically the fears will uh, go away by themselves. Um, there's a story, a beautiful story told about Rav Cook which is reminiscent of this story here in Parsha. Rav Kook was, of course, a great rabbi in Israel, the first chief rabbi of Israel. And on the holiday one year, he saw a Kohen in his congregation standing in the room, not going up to do the priestly blessing. So he went over to him and he said, aren't you a Kohen? He said, yeah. He says, why don't you go do the priestly blessing? He said, Rabbi, I'll tell you the truth, I'm not really that observant, I don't keep Shabbos, I don't eat kosher, I smoke cigarettes on Shabbos, I don't feel like I'm worthy to go and do the priestly blessing on the holiday. And Rav Kook said to him, I want you to go and do the priestly blessing. And then when you finish the, giving the priestly blessing, come more, when you come down from the, from the bima, say to yourself, I'm a coin. I just gave the priestly blessing. How could I eat non-kosher? How can I not observe Shabbos? How can I, not, how can I smoke on Shabbat? Just do the good deed and then automatically your thoughts will be positive.